Sam Bander always reminds us, nobody loves you like your mother. For some of us, our mothers have already departed this life. We don't have our mothers with us. For some of us, our mothers live far away. We don't see them often. For some of us, our mothers are nearby, but because of isolation, we can't get to them. We can't be with them. And for others, our complicated relationships with our mothers have distanced them from us for a long time. No matter where your mother is and what your relationship with her is, this service is about the fact that all of us have another mother. All of us are under the tender embrace of the Virgin Mary, the Holy Theotokos. And nobody loves you like your mother. So in this time of challenge that all of us are in in different ways, Some people are watching this and worshiping with us from their sick beds. Some people are watching and worshiping with us in isolation. A few of us are gathered together, although we have to keep our distance from each other. such a strange thing to do in the church, but we're obedient and we love each other, so we do that. But no matter where we are and no matter what challenges we face, Through all the words that we sung and prayed tonight, we're reminded how wonderful a mother that we have. She has done everything for us, up to and including bringing us to salvation. We Orthodox don't look to the Theotokos, the Virgin Mary, as the Savior. Of course, only her son is the Savior. But her son, the Savior, couldn't be the Savior without the mother who brought him to us. And so we rightly honor her as his mother, and we love her as our mother. Maybe some of you that are watching this on the live stream have never heard of the love of the Theotokos as we Orthodox express it, and maybe it seems very strange to you. Uh, It can be strange for those that aren't familiar with it. It's not something that we preach to the whole world. And yet at this time, we have to share this service. We're blessed to share this service. And if you don't understand what anything I'm saying to you means or what any of the words we sing, if they don't make sense to you, know this, that whether or not they make sense to you, they make sense to her. And whether you know it or not, whether any one of us knows it or understands it, and none of us really understand it perfectly, We all have a mother who is the perfect mother. She's the image of the church itself, who is also our mother. And again, no one loves you like your mother. So no matter what your challenge is this night, be comforted. Because whenever a mother comforts us, there's nothing like the love and comfort of a mother. And tonight... And every night and every day, we are loved and comforted by her. And that's why we sing so much about joy. The Virgin Mary was very much acquainted with grief, having to endure what looked to be the shame of an inappropriate pregnancy. Having given birth to Christ and then seeing what would happen to him throughout his 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 life leading up to his death seeing how he was treated by the priests and by others. All of that which she endured, she endured in the most difficult way. It was prophesied that a sword would pierce her own soul. And so she was very much acquainted with grief, as her son would be. And yet, she brings us joy. So no matter what sorrow sorrows you tonight, no matter what fear grips you tonight, Make enough room in that fear and in that sorrow for the joy that comes to us by our mother, the Theotokos. Because nobody loves you like your mother. God bless us all. Those of you that are watching from home, we miss your physical presence, uh, but we feel it here connected with us through the Holy Spirit. God bless you all. And may the joy that the Theotokos brings to all of us fill our hearts tonight. Amen.